What's going on everyone? I hope you're having an awesome day so far and welcome back to another episode of Chuck's Customs. On this episode, we're going to be building one of the most requested items I've ever had on this channel. Bessie's flatbed is finally getting a headache rack or a, a roll bar, whatever you want to call it. It's going to have lights on it and it's going to be awesome. So let's get into it. Real quick before I forget, today's episode is actually sponsored by Oxbeam. I'm going to talk more about them in a little bit, but there's a link in the description if you want to check them out. I highly encourage it.
this thing's working. Seems to work 50% of the time. Future me will know right now while I'm editing. Aside from a few welds that I can't get to right now, and a coat of paint, I'd say the roll bar is just about done, which leads us into the bread and butter of today's episode. Which is today's sponsor, Oxbeam. As you can see, Oxbeam was very generous sending over these off-road pod lights that I think are going to look absolutely mean on top of Bessie. So, let's go ahead and crack open one of these boxes and see what we're working with. So, full disclosure, I already opened up one of these boxes and took a look because I don't want to promote a sponsor that sells a crappy product. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm very pleased because these lights are really nice quality. As you can see, they come very nicely packaged. Uh, you get a sticker in there, little instruction kit, both of your lights, a wiring harness, two mounts, and all the mounting hardware that you're going to need to mount them to your vehicle. And like I said, these lights are very, very good quality. In fact, I would go as far as to say they're very high quality. They come with this nice plastic protective cover. Just pops off. Ooh. Looky there. I gotta say, when you hold it, you can feel like how good quality of a light it is. It's got some nice heft to it. It's got a full metal casing. Uh, supposedly they're waterproof, which I would hope they are if you're strapping them on the front of your truck and driving down the road in whatever weather or muddy conditions you might be in. So yeah, um, I like them. I like them a lot. So I'm very comfortable promoting their product on my channel. And I can very easily say that I will be using Oxbeam lights again in the future. Now, I'm not going to advise you to do anything just yet. Wait until the end of the video, we can see the finished product and how well they work. But if you're interested in getting your own set, there's a product link in the description of this video. Now, one thing to remember, I don't ever ask for money on this channel. Um, and I don't have anything interesting enough to offer for Patreon subscribers, so I don't even bother going down that road either. However, the link that's in the description is an affiliate link. Now, I know you've heard this a million times from every YouTuber on the planet, but if you support the sponsor, you do help support the channel. So go ahead and check them out. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get these things mounted. And when it gets dark out, we'll test them out. So as you can see, it's not really even dark out yet. It's getting there. It's dusk. But uh, just for comparison, let's go ahead and test out the headlights and see how they look. Okay, you know, about what you'd expect. And now with the Oxbeam off-road lights. <laughs> it just lights up the entire forest. Like, it makes me feel like I need a bigger area to test this out on. So... I'm going to move the truck real quick, and then we'll test them out again. All right, guys, I think uh, this is a pretty good spot to test these lights out, so let's see how they look. <laughs> the awesome thing is the side shooters, how it just completely illuminates everything on the sides of you. Oh, 
I might want to turn those off before I actually get my neighbors upset. So I went ahead and found this trail here. I think this would be a good place to test them out. Oh yeah, that's much better. thing is when you turn them off and all of a sudden it feels a lot darker you know what guys i gotta say i think these lights will do just fine on the trails oh my gosh okay i can't stand directly in that that is obscenely bright but yeah i think that answers the question of whether or not they're bright but also i'm extremely pleased with the overall finished product the quality is outstanding the installation was super easy. It has all the relays and switches already wired together. All you have to do is hook it to a ground and a positive and you're off to the races. So if you're looking for some really good quality off-road lights, check out Oxbeam before you do anything else. Like I said earlier, there's a link in the description and use code FIRST15 to get 15% off your first purchase. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and show that thumbs up button some love. If you didn't like what you saw or you have questions or concerns, let me know in the comments section. i love to hear from you guys. And if you want to see what we're getting into in the next episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.